the raw material comes in, in in various stages. Some of our uh, work, the paper manuscript, uh, some comes via the wire electronically, the House and Senate, and some of it's raw material from newspaper clippings. This pile of manuscript is just part of the material delivered to the U.S. Government Printing Office's pre-press division by the U.S. Congress every night in order for GPO employees to produce the congressional record. Many people may not realize there are more than a dozen steps spanning two shifts to produce the debates of Congress for online and printing formats in the pre-press area alone. Steve Hunter oversees the dozens of employees on the overnight shift who are part of this critical process. Pre-press is prepping that work, getting it ready for advanced stages. Our staff is uh, extremely uh, talented in knowing just the process itself. Some of the 12 steps in the pre-press area include markup, formatting, keyboard, text editing, and proofing. All of these steps performed by GPO employees prepare the congressional record to be viewed by the public in both online and print formats. A lot of people don't know how critical it is because they see the electronic um, file online, but they don't know all of the intricacies that are involved in us producing the book. It's a bit of a challenge just doing with the quantity of it and to know the various uh, minute details about how to mark it up correctly, what particular codes to put in, and what formats to put in, and in, what, and in what situation to use those codes and formats. When all the capitalization, punctuation, and formats are correct, congressional record files then enter the final pre-press area stages. For printed copies, GPO's plate room employees use the latest technologies to impose the digital files onto the plate and then send it to press. To be posted online to GPO's Federal Digital System, or FDSIS, which is a one-stop site to authentic published government information, those same digital files go to employees who manage the agency's online databases. So we take all the files related to the records, so the locator files, the PDF files, and we put them into a folder and we then upload that folder to FDSIS and then submit that folder so that it can be ingested for public display. A surprising fact, approximately 70% of the cost and work for the congressional record, whether it's online or in print, is done in prepress, an issue which was discussed by public printer Bill Borman at a Senate appropriations hearing in March 2011. Can you tell me what percentage of your budget might be used in paper uh, communication? Is that possible? Well, well I, I, just I, a rough... I, yeah. I, I think the cost for, say, like using the, the congressional sure. record as an example, about 70 percent of it is the IT side or the pre-press, getting it prepared, to putting it, putting it up online every night so that... You'd have that expense anyway. Exactly. And so the 30 percent uh, left for, for printing is the smallest piece of it. Because of the work done by GPO employees in pre-press, this 10-inch manuscript is turned into a half-inch publication printed on both sides of 100% recycled paper. The cost after GPO employees produce the first printed copy is about 1.3 cents per page compared to printing downloaded electronic files at 7 cents per page on an office printer. The number of printed copies of the congressional record has decreased from about 20,000 copies a day in 1994, when the congressional record first went online, to about 3,700 copies a day in 2011. And keeping America informed on the debates of Congress all begins here, with the work these employees do during the wee hours of the morning every day.